Connecting domains can be extremely confusing, but in this step-by-step -step tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how to connect your Kajabi website with your domain. And at the end of the video, we're gonna be looking at how to do that using Cloudflare. All right, let's jump into it. Just a reminder to check out reviewonlinecourse.com. It's a collection of all my software reviews, the pros, the cons of each platform to help you decide which one's right for you. And just remember, if you decide to use any of my links to trial platform like Kajabi, ThinkEdific, or Teachable, and so on, you get a free pair of Apple AirPods as my way of saying thank you. Check the description box below for more details. Anyways, back to the video. Or on the back end, of Kajabi. So take a look, you've got Kajabi, you've got website products. You wanna come down here to settings. That's where we're gonna find out how to connect that domain. So over here, it's pretty simplistic. You got a lot of choices, but the one you want is domain, right? So after this, you'll see this kind of button with this little Cloudflare security. We will look at this, but we're gonna look at this ladder. We're gonna look at this at the end of the video because it's easier to do it just through Kajabi without using Cloudflare. Maybe not as secure, but I find it it's simpler to just route it using a, a C name. So let's take a look at how to do that. You click this button, this little highlighted link, you'll like put in, let's just say it's this, all right? Click next, and then you want to take a look at this sslkajabi.com. You want to click this to copy, all right? And well, it's already being used, but what we would do from there is we would come back over to our GoDaddy or whoever we're using to host our domain. And we would click on, let's just say, let's click this one. For tutorial uses, we would want to find and manage DNS. That's what we're looking for. So they scroll down a little bit, see this manage DNS, and this will probably change as GoDaddy always changes their layout, but you want manage DNS. And then from here, this is where you want to change. You have the C name at www and then sslkajabi.com. So I've already done it, but let's just pretend I haven't. This will normally look like an at symbol that you can actually just get rid of. And then you'll paste it, this in here and you'll hit save. And that's it. Then, and that's actually it. Just give it a little bit of time to update, come back to Kajabi, and then you'll hit the save button and it will verify whether that actually is your domain or not. And it usually takes about 45 minutes. It should say progress in use. And then boom, after that, you're done. So if we are going to go back to Cloudflare and do this, this is a little bit more complicated, a little bit more secure, but it, it, that way, I prefer that way because it's easier. And I have about five domains. They're all on Kajabi. And I use that process right there by just stepping, uh, just using the setup for the routing to a C name, C name to a different place. So if we use the, the Cloudflare, um, it's a little bit different, but let's walk through exactly how to do that. So you would type in your domain address right here. Go to cloudflare.com. You can sign up. You can just put anything in there, put a password, create an account. This is free, which is really nice. You'll have an opportunity to select a plan, but right now it's gonna ask you what your site is. Put the same domain is that you just put it in, in Kajabi. Pick the free plan. You don't need anything other than that. And once you have that free plan, free plan, you'll see this is the dashboard and this is what you're gonna be looking at. So we wanna add a record, right? We wanna, we have A, we have C name. That's what we're looking for. We wanna click a C name. We actually, the name, again, we're actually gonna type in the www, because that's the start of our domain. And then we can head back, find this endpoint at Kajabi, then come back to our target. And so that's directing it to where we wanna go. Then once we do that, DNS only, you can toggle that off and on, as you can see there. You'll put this to two minutes uh, under the TTL, and then you wanna hit the save button. In the second step, you want to actually, so here it says proxy status, you want to toggle that off where it says DNS only. Here's where you're going to replace the Cloudflare's name server. You just copy this link and we want to copy that. We want to go into our name.com or our GoDaddy or whatever hosting platform you have. And then we want to change that name inside there. And then we want to update that. That's very important. You cannot skip this step. So once we do that, we want to actually set up our SSL. So we want to come over to and click it at the top, then see, make sure it's clicked on full. And then 
let's head over and make sure that that status says active. We want to make sure that that status says active. That way we know that it's actually working. Also under SSL, we want to toggle the ability to actually use HTTPS. That's very important because some people are going to actually put that in there. It's going to show a little bit more security more than HTTP. You can have HTTPS. It's a little bit more secure. And that's what we're looking for when we have the SSL. So make sure we toggle that on. Sometimes we don't want to put the entire domain in there. Like just say it's amazon.com. We don't want to put www.amazon.com. We also don't want to put HTTPS dot they'll be, colon backslash backslash amazon.com. You get the point. To be able to just put in amazon.com, we have to have a redirect. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Go within uh, Cloudflare, check out page rules. Then let's drop down and you can see we have got an opportunity right here to actually copy what our domain is, place it in there. And now we're placing it in there without the www. And now we are going to scroll down and we have a forwarding URL. Select that. Then we have the select status code. Do a 301 permanent redirect. That's what you want. Then have that end destination. Hit the save button and you're good to go. Now, if you're, I mean, it'd be nice if your actual website was amazon.com, but if your website is amazon.com, now it will forward without the www being typed in. And so it's a nice little shortcut and probably a necessary thing nowadays if you want to actually have a lot of different um, cohesiveness across the internet for your domain. So once um, Cloudflare is secure, you've got this uh, this Cloudflare DNS, you've got the setup of the C name, you've got the, the name servers, you've got the security and the performance, you've got the page rules. The only thing left is now to save the domain. So you can come over here to this confirm button, hit confirm, and you're actually finished. That's it. So that's really all you have to do and you're finally finished with setting up your domain without and with Cloudflare. If you guys have any questions, leave any comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.